Hey guys, Janet Alexander here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Grimmer. I've just got a couple tips on doodle faces that I'm going to give to you guys while I'm here. Um, it's been a wild day at the salon. I'm covered in dog hair. My hair is crazy, but you know, that's life of a dog groomer. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys over and we'll get started on this face. staff were prepping this girl for me so they just kind of hacked in a general shape she had some severe mats under the ears so we're missing part of the cheek here but the ear covers that so i'm gonna be able to hide that okay i like to start with my eye corners really pull that stuff out come in with your thinning shears just really so clear now, that is it 60 bucks a time hmm? okay and then coming out and then brush up the sides. Once I've got the eye corners clear, then I like to come in and do the sides of my head. So I'm gonna comb out. I'm gonna come in with my curved shears. And I'm just gonna level with the side of the head. So it's not rocket science when I'm taking off, I'm just leveling the side of her head. I'm gonna slightly tip under as I get to the base. I'm gonna start walking off her beard as well. To start to match that again I'm just going with that same level so it's not rocket science what I'm taking off just set your shears stay level don't bounce and just go with it okay what I do to one side you guys have heard my videos before let's go to the other side repeat on the other side it's really important if you want symmetrical faces that whatever you do to one side you repeat immediately on the other side if you keep bouncing and doing an entire side of the face and then come back to the other side, that's when you're just going to end up with one side shorter, one side longer. So see how I'm staying level? Now watch how I don't bounce in and out. I'm just going to come in and keep whacking. So see how I can see how much that side of her face hair needs to come off? Slightly tip in at the bottom and take it out. So be bold, guys. Lots of times with scissoring, sometimes it's just a matter of being more bold. Come out, repeat. See how I just want to level that side off? And it's dusting it in now. It's already got the general shape. Okay, so we got both of our sides of our head dusted in. Now I'm going to come and do the corners, sides of her eyes. Comb that forward. And I'm going to aim my shear to the outside corner of the nose and just kind of do a sweeping back motion, blending into where I've already scissored on the side of the head. Do you see why we wanted to scissor the sides of the head first? So see how that's set in the side of her eye really nicely? Now I'm gonna come in, do the same thing. What we do to one side, repeat on the other side. Outside corner of the nose, aim to dusting where I've already scissored. I'm not cutting into what I already scissored, dusting above it, okay? See how that sets her eyes in really well? Now I'm gonna to go to the top of her head, fluff it up. I'm going to start just lightly rounding it, okay? Very lightly. And see how I can just blend this into the side of the head that I already scissored. So do you see how step-by-step step can actually help you set up for the next step? So it's really, really important to follow a step-by-step -step method. Because since I already did the side of the head, it's just this area that I need to scissor and match in. Because I did the top of the head in a guard comb, it's already got the length set. So all I have to do is then just dust this all in. So it's not rocket science to have to go and create something. A lot of groomers get intimidated by having to create something. Okay, I'm gonna brush out her muzzle and I'm gonna aim her head down. So see when I aim her head down, it's really easy for me to tell how much of this muzzle hair needs to come off. See what's totally outside the head? When we come in, be bold, guys. Get right in there. Taking that right off. What we do to one side, do to the other side. So we're gonna do the same thing. Turn her head, tip it down. See when I tip it down, comb out. You see everything that doesn't match? Coming in, leveling that out. Out of her head okay now i'm going to come and level off her jaw and then i'll show you how we're going to blend in her muzzle comb down 
I'm gonna follow her jawline with where we've had to shave. Before I blend this in, it's very important that I set her the length of her beard. Okay, that's set in. Turn, what we do to one side, do to the other side, otherwise it's not gonna look the same. Coming in. I'm gonna blend that in. I'm going right to the base of the ear. Again, find landmarks on your dogs. I like the base of the ear, top of the ear, eye corners are all great landmarks. Sides of the nose, that way you know that you're making it symmetrical. Okay, so see how cute this is coming? Okay, so now we're gonna come, we're gonna comb the entire nose forward. Everything longer than the nose, just whack it off. Be bold, everything longer than that nose. I'm taking flush with the nose. What we do to one side, do on the other side, come forward. Everything not level with this nose, gotta come off. Okay. Now when I comb this back, it's gonna nicely layer that. It's gonna begin my layering at the front, which is exactly what I want. I'm gonna brush up everything on the top ridge of her nose. We know doodle owners, they do not like this too trimmed. So just a bit off, but to start to blend it into her nose hair. Okay, so now I just have this muzzle to deal with. I'm gonna fluff it all out. And I think I'm gonna come in with a chunker for this. Oh my God, a chunker. Okay, so I'm just gonna start straight up and down. And then I'm gonna start tipping in at the top, okay? Tipping down at the bottom, level in the center and in at the top. Make sense? Also tipping in as I come towards the nose. And now aim her head down. See how when I aim the head down, I can kind of blend everything in with that side of that head and start to tip in as I get underneath towards her jawline. What I do to one side, repeat on the other side. Okay, so this side I'm going to aim nice and angled around her nose. I'm going to tip slightly, so angled at the top, level in the center. And then I get a tip underneath for the bottom. If you're right handed, this is our hard side, so take your time. See how that's rounding it in? Aim her head down to start to round it all in. And start wrapping it underneath. See how that's starting to mold all that together? Come here, girl. She's paying attention to the other dogs that are leaving. I'm going to detail around her mouth. It's coming around her lips. I'm separating her top jaw from her bottom jaw. You don't have to do that, but in this case, I like her to have a separated top and bottom jaw. If I'm leaving a longer beard, I don't separate it. Oops, come here, girl. Okay. I'm gonna comb everything out. And now I'm gonna detail with my finishing shears to finish. And then finish off her jawline. What we did one side, do to the other side. Her girlfriend. Just gonna blend that cheese in a little bit more. Because I've already done the other side, it's really easy to match up. I'm gonna hold her from the front. And really double check by that. A few things my girls missed, so make sure you get all that. I'm holding the front. I like to come this way and just dust underneath. Okay, now we're gonna double check and detail our muzzle. I prefer to thinning shear everything and then detail with my finishing shears. 
but it's up to the individual groomer. Some people like to whack in the general shape with their finishing shears and then soften everything with the thinning shears. No way is right or wrong. Do what's comfortable for you. But I like to whack it in with my thinning shears and then see how I can just kind of sharpen the edges with my, with uh, sorry, whack it in with my thinning shears and then I like to sharpen the edges afterwards with my finishing shears. So that's what I'm doing now. Because to me, I like to just come find the fuzzy lines and cut them off and make it sharp looking. It's up to you. It's not wrong to leave it uh, nice and fuzzy too from the thinning shears. It's totally up to, to what you guys prefer. But I like really sharp lines, so. We can spend all day on these guys, but as everyday pet groomers, we have to move on. I'm using um, questions there. We've got, I'm currently using our new brand, which is Prestige Elite. These haven't come out yet, but a uh, little sneak peek for the new year, guys. Um, and these are an eight and a half inch. So I absolutely love them. And this is, uh, yeah, I love them. But they're they're going to be coming out in the in the new year, guys. So just keep a... Uh, Keep posted and now last but not least make sure you tip that head down and make sure the back of your skull is blending in with your body and your ears I know a lot of groomers kind of miss this step so just if you really want to add those extra details make sure you tip that head in and I manipulate the head and just get that dusted in so I'm Dan Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. I hope that face trim demo was helpful to you guys. Stay tuned and we will talk to you guys again soon.